Hey YouTube, Kira Twink here, bringing you all my Fleur Synchro Yu-Gi-Oh! deck profile for December 2024. Been wanting to update the Fleur deck used by Sherry in the Yu-Gi-Oh! 5D series. Haven't done an update to the deck since Baron de Fleur was put on the ban list, but it's been a good while and I don't see that card coming off the ban list. So I figured an update was due with the changes made to the deck for what you can play in substitute for that card and the overall play style of the deck that takes beast and warrior monsters to either create our centaur fusions or to go for the boss monster chevalier de fleur using our different synchron monsters so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile so we'll go ahead and start off with the actual main deck boss monsters for the Fleur monsters. We run one copy of Sorcier de Fleur and one copy of Sege de Fleur. With Sorcier de Fleur, if it's normal or special summon, you can target one monster in your opponent's graveyard, special summon it to your field, but it cannot attack your opponent directly and is destroyed during the end phase. So it can basically just take a resource of your opponent's for you to use. With Sage de Fleur, you can target one monster you control and one card in the field, special summon this card from your hand. If you do, destroy them. And if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can target one other monster in your graveyard and shuffle into the deck to add one level one plant monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. So the search for the level one plant monster is meant to then be able to grab our Necro Fleur, which can then be used to special summon Sorcier de Fleur once it's destroyed on the field. But you just need one-ups for both of those boss monsters. For some of the bigger numbers in the deck, three copies of Necro Synchron. This card's name becomes Fleur Synchron while on the field or in the graveyard. You can only use each of the following effects of Necro Synchron once per turn. You can target one other face-up monster you control, increase its level by two until the end of this turn, and if this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material for a win monster, you can special summon one level one plant monster from your deck. So another way to grab our go-to Necro Flare from the deck onto the field, but having a level two tuner to be able to summon out our Chevalier de Fleur is another important part of this combo in the deck. Being able to raise the level of a level four monster using this card as well can give us the level eight requirements to be able to summon out that synchro as well and for the fact that this card counts as fleur synchron means we don't have to run the original one in the deck either for the actual beast monsters in the deck, we run three copies of Horse of the Floral Knights. If this card's normal or special summon, you can add one light noble light monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use each of the following effects of Horse of the Floral Knights once per turn. Once per turn during your main phase, you can fusion summon one fusion monster from your extract using this card you control and other monsters from your hand or field as fusion material. So this is meant to be able to go into our go to fusion monster in the deck which is centaur mina needing one what light warrior monster and one beast monster so the fact that that card can be added to hand with this card being normal or special summon can give us just that one card combo play with this beast monster to be able to summon out our fusion monster and the other beast monster is the white steed of the floral knights a level six monster if you control a level two or lower monster you can special summon this card from your hand in defense you can only special summon white steed of the floral knights once per turn when an opponent's monster declares an attack, you can banish this card from your graveyard, target one card you control, negate the attack, and if you do, destroy the targeted card. So you can only use this effect of White Steel of the Floor Knights once per turn, but both of the horses are meant to help with either Centaur Mina or Chevalier de Fleur. It would also have helped for Baron de Fleur because this is the play where you would use Necro Synchron to then be able to raise the level of Floral Knight by two and then go into your Baron de Fleur using those two monsters. But sadly, we still have an easy play to make Chevalier de Fleur. We just don't have that level 10 play for Baron de Fleur. We're also running for the Light Warrior monster. Three copies of Noble Knight's Spear Holder. If it's normal or special summon, you can target one level eight or lower monster you can Control. Its name becomes Fleur Synchron. Also, it's treated as a tuner until the end phase. You can tribute this card to add one equip spell from your deck to your hand, and you can only use each of the following effects of Noble Knight's Spear Holder once per turn. This can be one of the warrior monsters you add off of your horse of the Floral Knights to go for your fusion play, but also just being able to set up other monsters as Fleur Synchron to go into Chevalier de Fleur and have a search for our equip spell being Fleurette de Fleur adds for more search power this card can provide. And for the last of the Noble Knight cards, the two copies of Noble Knight's Shield Bearer. If it's normal or special summon, you can banish one light monster from your graveyard to draw one card. And you can banish this card from your hand or field to add one level six or lower win beast monster from your deck to your hand. So this is meant to also be able grabbing the white steed of the Floral Knights for an additional special summon search just by having the level two or lower monster on the field, whether it be your Spear Holder or your Necrosynchron. 
We run the one copy of Necro Fleur, just the one because it can be searched off of Necro Synchron and also our Sage de Fleur. With the last of our main deck monsters just being the hand trap lineup of three copies of Ghost Mourner and three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. We have a good number of monsters that can just rely on a two card combo for setting up any of our extra deck monsters. So the rest of the spots can easily be you know placed with our hand traps to run in the deck also. For the spells, we're running three copies of our Fleurette de Fleur. With this equip spell, activate it by targeting one level two or lower monster in your graveyard. Special summon it, but negates effects. Also equip it with this card. When this card equipped by this effect leaves the field, destroy that monster. The equipped monster gains 700 attack, and if it's sent to the graveyard from the spell trap card zone, you can equip this card to one synchro monster you control. So this is meant to be the weapon of choice for Chevalier de Fleur, summoning back your level two monster on the field, using it for a synchro play, and then re-equipping this spell onto the monster that you still it out so then giving you a 3400 attack point monster making it all the easier for your monster to stop your opponent's spell trap effects we're also running two copies of synchro dilemma you can activate one of the following effects you send one synchron monster from your hand or face one of the field of the graveyard to special summon one monster from your hand or target one other card you control destroy it if you do special summon one synchron monster with a different original name from your hand or graveyard so search power for necro synchron once again having either that resource or another resource to meet the requirements for some of your other cards in the deck this continuous spell can just help with that setup depending on which play you want to go for we're also running the two copies of ready fusion and the one copy of instant fusion having some fusion monster targets to be able to summon out for resources onto the field is a big help as well we have some tuner options some non-tuner options for all those monsters to then sync pretty easily with some of the other main deck monsters we run as well with the spells just being a kind of a one of lineup for them being one call by the grave one triple tactics talent one monster reborn one pot of desires one cross out designator and and the one reinforcements of the army. They're just all additional extensions, whether they be by draw power, searching out a specific monster, or stopping any of our opponent's cards, or responding to our opponent's cards, with us being able to either take their resources, or draw or search out more cards. And then the only trap we run in the deck is an additional hand trap, the three copies of Infinite Impermanence, just as another means like our Ghost Mourner and our Ash Blossom to be able to respond against our opponent if we end up going second against them. For the extra deck, we run two copies of Chevalier de Fleur. With this card needing one Fleur Synchron and one non-tuner monsters, once per turn during your turn, when your opponent activates a spell or trap, quick effect, you can negate the activation. If you do, destroy that card. So it's sort of a weighed down Baron de Fleur with its negation power. But still, if you use your Fleurette de Fleur, you have a 3400 attack point monster, a pretty easy Synchro monster to be able to summon out in this deck as well. And we run the two of options, so we always have that backup option to go into if our opponent does manage Manage to get over this card. Some of the bigger synchro monsters we can summon out include our Ascension Sky Dragon and also our Sword Soul Supreme Shen Ying. Having these bigger synchro monsters means that if we have the tuner options to then synchro summon with Chevalier de Fleur, we can make these monsters as well to be able to use as, like I said, sort of backup fusion monsters for Baron de Fleur. For the fusions, two copies of Centaur Mina, needing the Light Warrior and the Beast Monster. So you'll use your go-to uh, Steed, Horse of the Floral Knights, to fusion summon this card out. Once per turn during your turn, when your opponent activates a trap card quick effect, you can negate the activation. And if you do, set that card. You can only use each of the following effects of Centaur Mina once per turn. During your main phase, you can special summon one level two or lower monster from your hand or graveyard. And if this card is sent to the graveyard as synchro material for the Wind Warrior monster, you can destroy one face of monster the field so adding as added backup as a way to summon out chevalier de fleur you can summon back your necro synchron and then use the two together to then go into your baron de fleur with those monsters with the other fusion monsters being one copy of our alvain the essence of vanity one sandwich and the one c monster theseus along with the one millennium eyes restrict for other added instant fusion target plays also for the Link Monsters, we run one copy of SP Little Knight, one IP Mascarena, one Nightmare Unicorn, and then the one Access Code Talker. More of a generic lineup to go into for the Link Monsters, with the rest of the extract just being the one Sky Crisis for more overlay power with our opponent's special summoning from the extra deck against us. And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, as I mentioned before, some of the easier plays revolve around both of our steeds. So let's say we have the option for our Horse of the Floral Knights. We can summon this card out with a normal summon and then use the effect 
to during our main phase, Fusion Summon Influence. Normal Summon, we can add one light Noble Knight Monster from our deck to our hand. So then we can use this card to add our Spear Holder to our hand. And then go for the Fusion Play with the two monsters as well. This will summon out our Centaur Mina to the field. And then when this card is summoned for the turn during your main phase, you can Special Summon one level two or lower monster from your hand or graveyard. So you can either summon back your Spear Holder to the field. And then with this additional play, and if you had both horses in your hand, you can then, if you control level two or lower monster, which you do, thanks to Centaur Mina, you can Special Summon out your Floral Knight. Then using this card for its play, with this card being able to have the setup option for this card, having the Special Summon onto the field, and then also having the use for this card, being able to have the Banish from the Graveyard resource option with this card as well, depending on what you want to go for. And also with this card being able to use for that you either have a link play option available to you or the added setup for more or less the next play which would be if you go for your synchro dilemma because then you can have the option to target card you control and then special summon one additional monster so the destruction of your other monster if you have the necro synchron in your hand to be able to summon out to the field and then choose your monster of choice to then be able to go into your chevalier de fleur but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoyed. Like I said, the deck was kind of, uh, you know, nerfed in power thanks to the ban of Baron de Fleur, but it is still a very fun deck to consider with all the power and consistency you have with the horse steeds and the light warrior monsters. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.